Hey guys, this is uh, basically an emergency Delta's rant. We can call it Nick's rant, Delta, whatever. This is about a game that I recently purchased that I actually don't want to play anymore. Lost Planet 3. And I'm going to tell you why. It is nothing like these two. Lost Planet 1 and 2. It's not like them. <clears throat> it's not a bad game. But it's basically like Dead, Pl Dead Space with Acred in it. Now, I post it on my Facebook. I'm, I don't put that below. If you want my Facebook, come to me personally. I'll give it to you. I'm sitting here playing a game at the moment. But I played this game, I think, maybe a total of seven hours. I don't know how far I have left. My character just revealed that the Nevik is evil. That Nevik is evil. Sorry, not the Nevik, but Nevik is evil. And I haven't fought a single human. Now, if you played Lost Planet 1 or Lost Planet 2, it's way, it, you don't want to play this one. If you, if, you like, if you prefer those kind of gameplay where you can use grappling hook anytime you want, uh, you can jump around, jump while you're shooting, gu guns blazing, shoot your uh, grapple hook at an enemy, attach to them and shoot them. That, those games are fun. I prefer the first one. Because the first one actually has a story to it. Yeah, the gameplay is different from 2, but it's good. But, you know, the reticle uh, moves all the way around in order for you to turn. Instead of just, you know, up and down, you turn automatically when you move it. But this game, <clears throat> I have the perfect example. The grapple hook works like this. Like Batman. Yes, I put it over my face. I'm Batman. I'm not. I'm more like the guy on my, on my wall right there. I'm Superman, sort of. But the game works more like that. <clears throat> you have a certain point that you can actually use a grapple hook, and it's all put in there. It's like, here's a point you can use a grapple hook, here's a point you can use a grapple hook. In the other games, you can attach to any wall, stand there, look down, and shoot at enemies. This one, you can't do that. They took all that away. Now, maybe it's a further whatever down the road, but I don't see it happening. Um, the guns are okay. But you basically, it's basically like a Call of Duty kind of deal. You get a machine gun, a rifle, submachine gun, grenade launcher, pistol. It's like, what happened to the gun sword, the multiple different kind of machine guns, all that stuff? It's gone! Oh my god! It's gone! I know I'm sitting way too far back. I got a computer chair finally. It took like several months to get a computer chair. But the game is just too different. Way too different. Like I said, it's it's like Lost Planet with Acred. I didn't... Well, this is Lost Planet. See how pissed off I am? It's like Dead Space with Acred. I didn't prefer Dead Space because most of the enemies can't shoot back until like near the end of the game where the enemies are actually controlled uh, humans, which is like Halo. So, I hate to say it, I'm probably going to trade it in. Like, exactly after work, I'm going to go trade it in. I will probably go back to Halo 4. I prefer Halo 4 over this. I may not have liked Halo 4 very much, but I like the gameplay. I like what story they were trying to tell. The enemies were kind of weird, but I liked the gameplay. I liked the game. That is just too generic. That is what I was afraid of what they were going to do this game. Every single game that has a prequel, they do something wrong. And this one reverted to the typical third-person shooter that I have played a long time. It's like Gears of War, basically. And you don't have to go into cover that much, but there are certain points you can use cover. You just can't use everything as cover. There's no jumping. You have to roll. Um, the running is like the first two, but slower. You get to choose your loadout after you buy all the weapons with thermal energy. You don't have the harmonizer. You don't have a health bar. It's uh, take cover and let your health regenerate. Yeah, the other ones had health bars where if you had thermal energy, your health restores. Because you had a harmonizer. This one, no harmonizer. It's just too 
different of a game, and I don't like it. You know, like I said, I played about seven to eight hours, and I keep wanting to go back to Extreme Conditions, which is the first game. Because there's only 11 missions of that, and I'm almost about to beat it. And I only bought it for a buck fifty. Go for that game. If you want a game that has different gameplay than a generic third person shooter, go for Extreme Condition. Lost Planet Extreme Condition, which is the first game. It is only a buck fifty at GameStop. That's how I got it. The disc was perfect. Maybe a few scratches on the back. The, the second game had worse stuff on it. And that one, I prefer that gameplay, but Extreme Condition actually has the story to it. Lost Planet has. Um, it has nice cutscenes. Uh, it has nice characters. It has good a good story so far, but I just can't get over the fact that it is way too different. You know, if you had human enemies or someone to shoot you back, I would prefer playing it more. But I just can't. I played against the same enemies for the first four hours, which is the crawly enemies that just jump at you. It reminded me way too much of Dead Space. So, I'm not doing a review of it. This is the review. The score's going to get a 2 out of 5. That is just below average. Like I said, the only factor about it is it tells the story of what happens on EDN 3 before the first game. But other than that, the game is just too different. It's not... It's just like comparing Saints 4 to Saints 3. Saints 3, you got to use cars, weapons, all that stuff. 4, you don't have to use cars. You don't have to use weapons. You can use powers your entire time. I prefer 4 over 3. I didn't like 3 that much, but I love 4. I don't know why I'm looking up here, but, you know, it's just, it's, that's just a simple fact. The game is just too different from its predecessors that I don't like it. Okay? So, if y'all want to pay $60 to get it, go for it. Just wait until it drops to play it or rent it. It's a rental, basically. It is It is a long game. Most of the time, you're traveling in your rig through the snowy areas. Then you have to get out, shoot things, get back in, go to the next location. You have side missions and all that stuff. Who cares? The side missions don't really matter. You get extra thermal energy. That's pretty much it. So... Uh, two out of five. It's not. It's not great to me. The shooting's okay, but it's just the lack of weapons. You get maybe ten weapons, and uh, two of them are actual automatics. The rest are semi or explosives. That's another thing. I I, I was going to end this video here. I will compare the weapons from two to three. Okay, two had maybe five, six, six or seven machine guns. Maybe five or six rocket launchers, maybe more than that. Four or five sniper rifles. You had a ton, at least 30 plus weapons in that game. This one you have 10. And the only upgrade you can do is like extended mag or a scope, which is selected. You don't get a scope for a machine gun. No, 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 no. The most I've gotten was an extended rifle or extended mag to it. That was it. Stay away from this game. Seriously. It's not as bad as Duke Nukem. But it, it's just too different for me to like. If you've never played the first two games and you like Dead Space, pick it up. Pick it up. It's actually good like Dead Space. But I'm not that kind of fan. I'm not the horror kind of fan where you face enemies that are basically just crawling at you and melee you. That's not the kind of games I like. The kind of games I like... Or like Gears of War, where enemies are shooting you back. Or, you know, they switch back and forth between facing the acrid and the humans. But, anyway, I hope you all guys like this video. Stay tuned. There may be a review coming sometime down the line for a game that I picked up a couple, probably a month ago or so. That uh, Rankle Swore and I uh, played together a few times. It's a, pretty, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game. I mean, I may do this one too, or any of these two. I have a, I have a bunch of games up here I can do. I'm, I'm way far behind with my reviews.
But the reviews, me sitting here talking. So I hope y'all liked this video. Stay tuned for more later. Let's Plays will come back eventually. I don't know when. Eventually. Because my work schedule is weird. I'm off Tuesdays and Thursdays, basically. And I can only do it one day. That's it. I can only do it that Tuesday. I can't do it Sundays because people are home. I I've already discussed that. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I'll see all guys on the next Delta's rant if there is any more down the line. Possibly will be, but later.